my friend John Sales Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about adding coupons and deals to your courses we're going to talk about how to do that so you can get more sales you know the more sales you get obviously the the better you're going to be doing that's all that's what it's all about if you're trying to build a course you're trying to sell a course then you want more sales right so we're going to talk about that and before we get into that I want to just ask make sure that you subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're watching this on Facebook like the page and don't forget to subscribe to my list just go to my blog and enter your name and email to get on my list because you don't want to miss on any of these course income secrets episodes all right so we're going to talk about adding a course a coupon a coupon and a deal so a coupon is basically something you can give people you can have a certain number of them and you can give them a deal it, ha it can have a start and end time it can have a maximum number of uses and that's what a coupon is and they can just use the coupon uh, to purchase the course the other one a deal is basically a set of amount that you're you're selling your course for a certain amount of time and they don't need a coupon it's just active if they're within that time frame so we're going to show you how to do that in just a minute but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you have a course or maybe you just have YouTube videos and you want to create a course from it so we're going to show you how to do that right now I'm going to show you the platform and let's just uh, for example say that we do have uh we do have a um, YouTube channel we're going to look at that and I'm just going to set something up here first of all let me just set that up right here so say you have a YouTube channel I'm going to share my screen here so say you have a YouTube channel I mean I I post these videos all the time I'm not gonna I'm not saying these are meant for that and they could but they could be but say I wanted to create a course with some of these videos I had two or three videos that have to do with you know Facebook or have to do with LinkedIn or have to do with you know uh, cryptocurrency or whatever it is your niche is maybe it has to do with weight loss maybe it has to do with healthy eating maybe it has to be mindfulness there's so many topics and maybe you've done these and you want to organize them in a course you want to cut them up you want to split them you want to make pieces into lessons all that stuff it's as simple as having the video here on YouTube and then uh, setting it up on the course platform so let's just go to the course platform so click eCourse is a site where you can host courses you can make affiliate commissions on um, referring others and you can sit and sell other people's courses and make a commission on that I'm just going to show you how that works you can choose to just host your course have it there just all on its own or you can have it as a commission we're going to assume you want to make money and you want others to promote your course so that you make even more money and we're also going to show you how to do the deals and the courses so let's first start off by uh, registering so you're going to click on the register you're going to put in your an email there and you're going to put a, a password and you're going to register your account that'll send you an email which you have to click on to activate the account it's as simple as that so once you have the account you're logged in I'm just going to log in uh, because I already have an account right so I'm just going to log in and once you're logged in um, you're able to go to create a course so you just click oh uh, we can't really see let me just see let's move that over here so whoops I was going by the way up top here when I was logged out sorry about that let me just resize this so if you're logged out when you visit the site it'll look like this right and you're going to have a register and a login button whoops sorry a register and a login button up here you can click on the register button it'll pop up a register account where you put your name and email your sorry your email address and a password click the register button then you'll get an email and then you activate your account by clicking the link in the email uh, after that you can log in so I can click the login here or or when you click the link in the email it'll automatically log you in but I'm just going to log in here because I have an account and now once I'm logged in once I'm logged in I can go to the courses tab now this just shows you the current public courses I mean there's different uh, settings for courses but these are just the courses that are there so we're just going to go and click on create new course now right so when you click on that you can create a new course we're just going to call this 
test course um now of, of course you can you can give it summary details all that stuff you can click on next down the bottom here to go to the next or you can just go straight to where you want to make a change I'm going to set a cover image over here I'm going to just put uh, one of these basic images doesn't really matter let's see what do I have here I've got a I've got a uh doo -doo -doo -doo. where's the where's the where is it it's right here png no that's to be continued that's not it I thought there was I had one here course I thought I had one I thought I used it these are mp4s am I not in the right place I thought that I had one soundcloud profile pick come on that's not it these are mp4 files to be continued I had one I'm telling you I had a <laughs> picture here that anyways it doesn't really matter let's just use this it doesn't really matter it's just an image I click on next that'll upload it and after that I want to just set a price I want to set this let this just an example but I if you don't put a price you won't be able to put a coupon or a deal so I'm going to put a price of, of 150 dollars I'm actually going to give people 90 percent commission because what I really want and, and that depends on you right if you want to give just a tiny percent you can say 20 percent if you want you can say 50 percent you can say 90 percent or 100 even if you want well 100 will, won't give them 100 because there are fees um, but it'll give them most of the everything that's left you you don't get a penny out of it but you do get a lead you do get a student you do get an email right so that's the thing if you're looking to grow your list by having others promote your course then you can give a high percentage commission anyways that's what I'm going to do right here I'm just going to click on next and depending on your account the free account doesn't allow you to do these uh, these things but that's those are settings we can talk about that in another uh, episode but um if you're listening to the audio by the way you really should be going to look at the video because the video shows all this and you can see all this on the screen um but yeah so that's 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 what I'll say about that um you can have act I'm not going to go into anything I'll just click on done right here actually I'm gonna have to give access I'm gonna have to say access is unlisted and I'm gonna go done all right so that's basically now I've got a course I've created a course that doesn't have any lessons as you, and down here there's a little plus right there where you can say the you add a lesson you click on the plus and we're gonna add a new lesson we're gonna add uh we're gonna call this uh lesson uh this uh how to well let's just say introduction introduction right because you can have a course my first lesson is probably an introduction you're going to choose a video file right here I'm just going to put oh actually you know what that's right with the free account you can't you can't upload a file you have to specify a url so we're going to do that we're going to say this is the one here I'm going to do get shareable link right and then I'm going to go in here I'm going to paste this here and I'm just going to say save now also in the free account you don't have this option here it'll just be the uh, the YouTube URL so I'm just going to save that like that just as if it was a free account I probably should have set up a free account I guess but anyways all right so now what happens is it's going to download the URL the the video from YouTube as you can see the percentage is going up so it downloads the image the, the whole video um or actually it's not supposed to do that <laughs> but anyways it doesn't matter okay so I'm gonna that's that's because I have the account that does it uh when you don't have a when you have a free account it won't download but if I go back to the course if I click on the course link down here now I have the course I have one lesson right of course I could have other lessons I could have multiple lessons um but these these this is the basics of the course when somebody visits this course if I just go to this page here and I go to an incognito window right here this is what they'll see they don't see the edit and all this stuff right they see the course page and they see that there's no lessons oh that's because I didn't uh, uh, I forgot to make this a published lesson publish the lesson and I want to edit this and I want to make sure whoops I forgot one button I'm going to edit the lesson I'm going to make it a published lesson I'm going to save it all right so now 
now it's a published lesson I go back to the course and if I look at here I reload this now we're going to see there's one lesson right so there's one lesson down here you can't watch it unless you unlock it so you have to buy it so if I click on the unlock course right here as a visitor it takes me to a page where you can pay for the course right you just click on this the money gets sent interact and then the, and then it goes into your account as the author right you you get uh, you get all of it except the fees right um but if you're referring this and somebody else there's a way to have the the way it works is that the person referring will get whatever the commission is right and um you'll get the difference right so you'll get the difference minus the fees right but anyways that's just that's the basics okay so let's just close that okay so now you want to offer a deal right now the course is 150 bucks we're just we're just going to click on manage deals and coupons right there I'm just going to say I want a deal I'm going to I'm going to make this a hundred bucks or maybe 97 dollars and I'm going to make it uh it could be like it starts in a few minutes from when you create it right so we're just going to make it um on the 20th so yesterday right to make sure it shows up and I'm going to make it until the 31st of this month I'm going to click on submit and now I have a, a coupon that is 97 dollars so if I reload this page it shows me that the price is 97 dollars until the 31st right and of course if you want the time you can make the time midnight and make the 31st at 23 59 59 right or 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 0801 at 00 right in any case that's the that shows you the price that they can get this is this is the link you see but if you go again if we go to this uh, this course on an incognito window you see the price there right you see it so if I click on unlock course now it shows me that it's uh, 97 dollars now this is actually this yeah so 97 dollars and it shows the wrong anyways it shows the wrong price but I'll fix that uh so that's and that's the that's the course so now if I add that's the that's a deal so you can have more than one deal you could have another deal for example at uh 47 dollars and it's going to be from the 20th to the let's say the 25th okay oops 25 so now if I sub if I add that now we're going to have two we have two deals right and if I reload the page it it's supposed to <laughs> it's uh, I should have tested that it's supposed to show you the lowest of the two right it does right here but it's anyways the way that I've got the code that does that now let's see if the, I'm curious to see if I'm curious to see if I go to my courses right here let me see so that's the deals right the deals are uh of course te the test course I go to this course and it's still showing 97 so yeah I guess I gotta fix that the idea is that you wouldn't have I you could probably delete the other one because there's no sense in having two right if they're not working so you can actually go in here manage deals you can delete the 97 dollar one and now it's only got that one and if I reload this hopefully this will work right and yeah now you got 47 dollars until the 25th right and that's the price you're seeing now right okay so now what's the difference between de deals and coupons so deals are for a set amount of time for a certain price right that's it's a price base it's not a percentage or anything like that it's a price so whatever the price is you want to give as a deal and you can make it so that you can have a deal that's you know uh, from from 8 p.m to midnight on a certain day right because you're doing a webinar and this is kind of like a deal you have there but the better way to do that for those is using a coupon because then you can have a link so let's just add a coupon I'm going to add a coupon that's going to be super deal it doesn't really matter you can have the coupon name whatever you want and I'm going to make this a price of 97 dollars and then I'm going to submit like this all right so now I have a 97 dollar 35 percent off and if I could take this link here and I go to my incognito window here 
now when you go to that course and you have the deal it gives you the deal oh actually this is not a this is a great example of when you have a you you have a deal that's 47 dollars, but the coupon is 97 so it's going to be like why would you want to use a coupon at 97 dollars when you can already get it at 47 so let's show you a deal that's better or a coupon let's say uh insane insane I'm just going to call it insane I'm going to say this is 25 dollars I'm going to give a maximum of 10 of these coupons and this is the way this works if I submit and now if I take that insane deal right here insane copy this go to the incognito over here and then do this now we have the insane deal and it's sh showing you 25 dollars with the coupon insane and it's telling you there's not 10 of 10 so that means if you have if you're giving away only 10 deals of this particular thing and you're what your your webinar you can say by the way you got to go get that right now because after there's 10 of those the price goes up to 50 dollars or whatever the whatever the deal price is because right now right now we have both a, a price of 47 dollar deal and we have a coupon of 25 dollars right so if you give them the insane coupon as the link they're going to be able to get that price until it reaches the 10 and then when it reaches a 10 it'll say can't give you that the you got to pay the 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 47 dollar price right you can't pay the 25 bucks because the deal is the the coupon uh is 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 used up there's no more coupons and that's kind of how you do that so well let's see now so so you can have and the other thing you can do too with a coupon as you can see right here there's a price and there's a percent so you can use one or the other I can say I want to have a 50 off coupon which is going to be a 50 percent off and I can have a let's say 75 off I'll just call it like this and I'm going to say 75 off and then let's just for the fun of it let's create a 90 off 90 off and I'm just going to make this 90 right here and then I'm going to submit okay so now I have all these coupons let's just use this and just go here now I have the 90 off it's going to be 15 dollars I can actually I you know like I said you can just change this to, to the coupon and it'll show you the coupon price right 75 off with coupon and then if I'm I'm not sure but I think this one will ignore because it won't be enough yeah it'll ignore the 50 off because the the deal is 47 right now right so that's how you use the course coupons and deals and how you organize your course you can set you set a fixed price it's really better to have these kinds of deals to have these kinds of coupons because it entices people now the other thing you can do which is really cool is you can use chatbots to offer the coupon to somebody who's leaving right so let's say uh let's uh, show you the chatbot stuff uh, I did other other um, trainings or episodes on that but let me just show you here um basically if I go to conversio.com okay so I mean this is a, a site I use it's called conversiobot.com if you want to know, it's my.com my info.myconvergiobot.com here let me just put it up here because I don't want to be so if you want info that you would go to info.myconvergiobot.com so and but anyways right now so so this site the way I use it is a, you go and you create a bot let's just say I'm going to create a bot for my test I'm going to create a new folder I'm going to call it test bot for video 2020 07 21 okay just do that and then I'm going to create a bot in there so you can have a bot if I go into here I create a bot in here I'm going to say main main test 2020 07 21 in this uh, test folder and I'm going to just do a very basic nothing special there's other trainings that explain how to do all this and I'm just going to say welcome right here I'm going to launch and then I'm going to go and create another bot I want an exit bot I want to show you how to use the coupon thing right so if you go in here 
if I create another one I'm going to call it exit test 720 in the folder right here and then I'm going to add a block here I'm going to say don't don't go I'm going to actually put an image here instead you just see kind of how that works gallery no it's down here this one here and I'm going to add a something here I'm going to say wait don't go don't go uh, of course you want to ask people things right um and I'm going to just save like like that and I'm going to add another block I'm going to say deal use this link to get 90 percent off right now <clears throat> okay uh, so I'm going to add the link here it's going to be basically this 90 percent off copy the link go back in here I'm going to paste that here whoops I pasted in the wrong place control X there we go make this a link uh, as well I'm not sure if it's automatic when it's just that but and okay so now I'm going to save this and I'm going to connect this and I'm going to publish launch it okay so now I just so now I have a regular bot that's going to show up I'll show you what that means in a second and I have the on exit pop-up that's going to give them a coupon if they if they open it or they don't close the window so if I go back here I go back to the folder I just want to make sure that the main one uh, on exits on the other one so that's in here up here there's a open bot on exit hover is going to be the main on exit and um and yeah so that's the basic so now when I go in here I'm going to edit the course oh first I got to go get the um, this is the main yeah publish so I need to have the bot id right here down here I copy the bot id I go back to here I go to the header code and I put the conversion bot id right here and I save that okay so now uh, when I'm on the course page let's just go to say for example to this this let's say we give people a 75 percent off coupon and they go to the site and they see the they see the deal at 37 dollars you know 175 percent off and they're like I don't know it doesn't look you know they don't and of course you you have to have a better sales page this is just the basics but if you try to mouse away look at that it pops up a bot that says wait wait don't go don't go use this link to get 95 90 percent off now obviously you want to have a conversation but I can I can be like oh really 90 percent off that's insane maybe I should check it out so then you click on it and then now it shows you 15 dollars instead now if you try to exit again it'll do the same thing we could probably organize that a bit better but that's that's fine so now you can say okay I want to I'm going to get it so you offer them the coupon that's kind of how you deal with that's kind of how you can have coupons offered whenever they try to exit your site you can have these uh, coupons set up you can have these bots automatically offer them the coupon you can have conversations with people you can have you can have those you those those coupons available in your Facebook group or things like that if you're trying to offer this through a Facebook group it's all connected so that you can have more sales more and more uh you know more 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 students in your course um so yeah so that's it that's how you add course coupons and course deals to your courses on Click eCourse I hope you enjoyed this don't forget uh, to watch the episodes and get on the list to not miss an episode and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.